So today we are going to deal with the topic from advanced corporate accounting and that is double account system. So what is double account system? It is a way you present the financial statement of a public utility company. So public utility companies are the railways, the electricity, waterways, etc. So here I'm basically taking a problem to show you how you could dispose the profits of the electricity company. For that we have to learn certain terms. And those terms are the first one shows you the clear profit. So as the term says, clear profit is nothing but the difference between the total income and the total expenditure after considering all the possible appropriations. Again, the next term what you're going to find out is a reasonable return. So what does reasonable return mean? It is nothing that, see, being a public utility company, you cannot earn too much of a profit. So you have to have a reasonable return of profit. And how do you calculate this reasonable return is based on these points. That is a yield at the standard rate on the capital base. Again, income derived from investment other than those included in the capital base. So definitely you should know also how to calculate the capital base which I will be dealing next. Now again to find out the reasonable return an amount equal to half percent of the loans advanced by state electricity board half percent of the amount borrowed from approved financial institutions half percent of the amount realized by the issue of debentures half percent of the balance of development reserve so considering all these factors you can find out what is the reasonable return of the company again how do, as i said earlier you have to know how to calculate the capital base so these are the condition terms that you have to consider while calculating the capital base that is first the original cost of the fixed assets less cost of service lines contributed by consumers again the cost of intangible assets original cost of work in process compulsory investments made on account of any contingency reserves the amount of working capital being the monthly average or half of stores material supplies including full in hand at the end of each month of the end of the year 1 by 12 the sum of cash and bank balance at the end of the month or year. All this have to be considered while cal calculating the capital base. And from that the possible deductions are the amounts written off or set aside on account of depreciation of fixed assets, the amount of any loans advanced by state electricity board, the amounts of loan borrowed from organizations or institutions, the amount of any debentures, and the amount deposited in cash with the company by consumers by way of securities. If you have received any security deposit from consumers, all that have to be calculated. And that is how you will find out the capital base. Again, what, how do you dispose the surplus? That is what we are going to do in the illustration. So, Surplus is what? It is the excess of clear profit over reasonable return. So you know what is clear profit and you know what is reasonable return. So if the clear profit exceeds the reasonable return, then these are the conditions how you are going to dispose the surplus. One is one third of the excess or one third of the surplus not exceeding 5% of the reasonable return, which is the least that could be considered. Then the balance amount, you will have to divide it equally between the tariff and dividend control reserve and the consumer benefit reserve. So let us see the same thing through an illustration. So this is the illustration that is given to you. This is a question that is given to you. Based on this question, see you have the share capital, fixed asset, depreciation reserve, fixed assets, again reserve fund, contingency reserve, all these items which we may need to find out our capital base and we may need for the problem. So, considering this, see, the first is you are going to calculate the capital base. 
all this is given to you in the question that I had mentioned earlier. So, the fixed asset is given to you less contribution towards fixed assets. That gives you the amount. Again, intangible assets, current assets, investment against contingency reserve. That way you are getting 566 lakhs. Again, from this you have to minus all the deductions while calculating the capital base. So these are the deductions. You have the develop, uh, depreciation reserve, loan from electricity board, debentures, development reserve, consumers deposit, tariff and control reserve and that gives you the answer of the capital base. 300 lakhs is our, 3 crores is our capital base. Okay, now again, how do you calculate your reasonable return? It is based on the yield on the capital base. That is in the question, it is clearly given to you that, see, show how the profits have to be dealt with by the company, assuming that the bank rate was 10%. So along with this 10%, you have to take a reasonable rate of 2%, which is given to you. So that gives you, 36 lakhs. Again, 8% on reserve fund investment. That is 8% on the reserve fund. That gives you an answer. Half percent on loan from electricity board. Then half on debentures. Half percent on development reserve. All this can be summed up and you will find the reasonable return. That is 46 lakhs 13,000. Now again, how are you going to dispose this Return. Now see, what do you mean by surplus? Surplus is nothing but clear profit minus reasonable return. That's what you have calculated here. Clear profit is given to you in the question. In case clear profit is not given to you, you will have to do a statement finding and find out what is a clear profit. But in this case, clear profit is given to you. From the clear profit, you minus a reasonable return which you have already calculated and you get the answer as 9,87,000. Now, out of this, 20% of the reasonable return has to be calculated and that gives you 9,22,600. The balance of that, that is from the 987, the 20% is minus, you get 64,400. That goes to consumer's benefit account. Okay. So now again you are going to find out this, how are you going to allocate the surplus up to 20% of reasonable return. Up to 20% is this is the amount that you are going to allocate, 9,22,600. For that there is a condition that is given to you. One third of surplus limited to 5% of reasonable return. So you will calculate one third of surplus. And you will calculate 5% of reasonable return. The least of it is taken. So the least amount is 2,30,650. When you take one third of surplus, you will get 3 lakh something. So the least of the, out of it is 2,30,650. Then the balance will be divided and given to these two accounts, which is at the tariff and dividend reserve and consumer benefit. Reserve. So you can see how you are allocating 9,22,600. 9,22,600 is a 20% of reasonable return and that is how you are allocating it. Now again, now you can see what is left to the disposal of the company, what is seen in the consumer's account and what is seen in the tariff account. Now amount of the disposal of the company is a reasonable return plus this amount, the least of the two, one third of surplus or five percent of reasonable return. Again, what is seen in the consumer's benefit account is the amount that you have kept aside, three like forty five nine seventy five plus sixty four thousand four hundred. How did you get sixty four thousand four hundred from here? That is, you have taken from the surplus minus twenty percent of the reasonable return. That amount, 64,400, which goes to the consumer's benefit account. Along with that, you will have, you will have 
three lakh forty five nine seventy five, which you have kept it aside. So in your consumer's account, you will get four lakh ten thousand three seventy five, and in your targets and dividend control reserve, you will get three lakh forty five nine seventy five. So this is how you are going to allocate the or see how the company disposes its surplus. So I hope it is clear. Thank you.